devotion of God's word. Um, my name is Brother Graves. I've been preaching. I just put something down there. I don't know if it's 41 years or 45. I don't know how many people are baptized. I don't know that either. But I do know one thing. Uh, I had to look up some of these words because you know that I had a high school education and I was glad they made that rule no kids held back. <laughs> so I graduated. This evening, I want to talk to you a few minutes from the Word of God. And my subject is the hazard of not hearing God's voice. The hazard of not hearing God's voice. That seems like it ought to be a simple thing, but in these days and times, we look back into history and find out that I know the Church of Christ is right. Because if anybody, any religion, more like the Israelites, it's us. We more like the Israelites than, you know. And so, in Hebrews, the third chapter, and beginning at verse number seven, it said, wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in provocation. In the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work forty years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation, underline that, and said, they do always error in their heart, their mind. Think about that. The Bible tells me, and they have not known my ways. Think about that. But think about this more. So I swear in my wrath that they shall not enter into my rest. Into my rest. Then think about this. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you in the evil heart of unbelief, in departing from the living God. Let's get together, brother, on the next verse. But exhort one another, daily why is called day, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. The hazard of not hearing God's voice. I look at verse number seven and I let the Holy Ghost uh, let you know it's the present tense. The Spirit is speaking unto the Israelites and we and secondly God nowadays in this time speaking to us through his son, Jesus Christ. That is a present tense. Christ it was greater than the prophets. God, Christ was greater than Moses. Mo men must, in these days and times, must believe and obey Christ. If they want the promise of salvation. If they want eternal life. If you really want to see God's face and peace, you must hear the voice of God. Hearten. He said, do not harden your heart. 
other words, the Holy Spirit is telling us, even in this generation, that we are in a critical state. It's very important that all the people understand that they must hear the voice of God. I think about the Israelites and God had been with them 40 years in the desert and, and, and God had carried them and God had provided for them and he had fed them, he had clothed them and, and, and through that desert he had gave them much food. And I ask you a question, how many of us been following Christ for 40 years and still is not in the right relationship with God? How many of us? The Bible tells us in Acts the seventh chapter and round about verse 51. That's why I say I know we lack the Israelites. He said, You stiff neck, uncircumcised heart. Is you always resist the Holy Spirit. In other words, when God's voice speak through the word, we resist that. And we go and do the things that we want to do. He called us stiff neck. He called us uncircumcised. We need to wipe away. We have not wiped away the sins of our lives. He said, you always resist us as your father did for 40 years. They did it. What are you talking about? He said they always went astray, didn't he? God promised and he met all the needs that Israel had. God meeting our needs today. But we have decided that God's voice is not the voice we want to hear. We want to hear for the philosophers. We want to hear, we want to hear those who tell us uh, fantastic stories. As the brother said, we want that smooth stuff to slide off. God is telling us that we must understand that, you know, we go back to the Israelites and they did not know God's ways. And God's way is very simple. All God's way, God just wants you to have faith and trust in him and live by the truth of his word. That's all God wants. Three little words. Truth, faith, and love. Him. No matter. The Bible, keep on. The Bible tells in the 28th chapter, around the 27th verse, you know, he told us that there was some people that had problems. They the heart of this people is wax gross. Don't that sound familiar? Yeah. He said, and their ears are dull of hearing. You see, we don't want you to talk about Jesus, Brother Johnson. I want you to talk about uh, 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 Dr. Uh, Oz, and I want you to talk about Dr. Field. I don't want to hear what Jesus had to say. And the Bible says not only that, he said the ears are dull hearing and their eyes have been closed. We don't want to see the truth lest they should see with their eyes. God said until we learn as members of the Lord's church and, and members, we got to learn that we got to see something. He said with their ears he said, see with their eyes and hear with their ears and, 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 and they said, understand with their heart and be converted. We got a lot of folk baptized. We got a lot of folk in the water. Went down in the water, but God said, and be converted. He said, then I, he said, I will heal them. When, when they are converted to me, when they hear my voice, then they will be converted. But just like so many of the Israelites, the people have chosen not to follow God. They, they, they're going to miss the promise. They're going to just like the Israelites missed the promise. 
in the provision that God has prepared. Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you, and I'll come again and receive you unto myself. There where I am. That we don't want that no more. We want the Lamborghini. We want the big house. We want to rob God to pay our bills. We don't want to hear about what we owe God. We don't want to hear about and just like the Israelites, they all died in the wilderness. The ones who had set free. God had set them free. But don't let you, don't you think because you went down into the water and you come up, the Israelites, God brought them out. But yet and still, if you don't obey, he will destroy you just like he did them. Too many people think that God, how do you know, preacher? We got to watch wrong. Some people get mad because you watch it wrong. The Bible said, take heed. We got to look at some things. You got to take heed and, 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 and there's a great danger that believers, you know, in this day and time have departed from the living God. You know, too many people have decided that uh, we got to learn as members of the Lord Church. And not only do we got to watch the world, but we got to watch ourselves. We got to be alert. Stay alert. Be on lookout. To, and, and do it continually. Sometimes we want to look. And, you know, I heard brother uh, uh, say a minute ago, uh, people say, I don't see nothing wrong with it. In my congregation, when a member asked me, preacher, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I said, good. You ain't supposed to be seeing. You supposed to be doing. I know you got, when you tell me you, you don't see nothing wrong with it, I know sin is already in behind there. We got to hear the voice. They don't come to me with that. I'm like, I don't see nothing wrong with pianos. I don't see nothing wrong. No, you ain't supposed to see. It's not, your, it's, not your, it's not your service. It's the Lord's service. How do I know what an evil heart? How do I know what unbelief is? Number one, a heart that stands off from God. Number two, a heart that are, are, are loose from God. Other words, somebody that renounce God, resist him, renounce his voice. And let me tell you, God, we're not talking about you saying that I don't want the Lord. Agents got, you know, agents do better than we do. He tell you he don't, but we show him. We are atheists in our movements. We renounce God, we resist him. We are rebel against God. We oppose the will of God. We oppose the authority of God. Yeah. I had to look that. I had to look it up when he, well, I looked up harsh, hardness. You know, cause like I said, I was in that class where no students left behind. So I had to look up some words, and so I find out that they're not believe in God. In other words, that, that means if you find somebody that really don't believe in God. And, and does not trust God and, and his promise. When we don't trust God, voice that God said, I go away, prepare a place for you, and we don't live like we want to go to that place, we are rejected. Let's get down to something real personal. I want to understand. You remember in Jude, in, in, Jude, I mean, in, 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 uh, in Zach, uh, 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 Zachariah. I want brother go to Zachariah because there's something going on. What what are we doing to Jesus today? Just hold that a minute. What are we doing to Jesus today? You know, we talk about the Israelites, what they did, but what are we doing? The greatest failure of Israelite was they failed to believe in God. Today we have the same problem. People have problem believing and accepting the word of God. In John 10, 24 and 25 the Bible tell us then came Jesus around about them and said unto them how long do they make us doubt? You know some people still doubting Jesus. That's why we got drill teams and praise teams and, and that's why we want to do the worship the way we want to do it because Jesus didn't put no spark in it. Now what kind of spark 
is that going to be when a man hanging on the cross with nails in his hand and pierce, and then you it's a memorial when we come to worship it's not a party how many of y'all go to the funeral I, I've been going to funeral every weekend since 2000, 2016 and I to yet see somebody bring in their fifth and they organ and start dancing I like to everybody, every time I go to free, everybody going to heaven. <laughs> the Bible says, if, thou, if I be Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered them. You want it plainly? I told you, and you don't believe. You believe not. We tell you the church of Christ is right. The Bible is right. The word, the voice of God is right. And you don't believe it. The work that I do in my father's name, in my father's authority. See, if we're not doing things in the voice, in the authority, don't do it. I tell people in my church, you know, I don't know a whole lot, but I say, well, let me see. Uh, you got in the Bible for it. <laughs> well, no, well, then I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you got to have Bible for it. He said, they bear witness of me. I will work, our belief will bear witness that we belong, we hear the voice of God. The hazard is, too many people are deceiving. Too many people have a hazard. Zechariah tell us something. In Zechariah, the seventh chapter, and let's begin at verse uh, number seven, brother. What did it say? Number seven. Yes, sir. Should you not have obeyed the words which the Lord proclaimed? Wait, do you not obey the voice of the Lord? Read. Through the former prophets, when, uh -huh. when Jerusalem and the cities around it were inhabited and prosperous, uh -huh. and the south and the lowlands were inhabited, uh -huh. then the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, and, saying. And see, when you listen to God, he said, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah and said what? Thus said the Lord of hosts. Uh-huh. Execute true justice. Show mercy. Stop right there. Oh, I, I got to stay back here. That, what is, read that again. Execute true justice. What about that? Why we don't want justice in the church? You know, when we talk about justice, people, when you try to get, talk about justice, members leave. They gone. That's what the preacher was saying. Show when you mercy. talk about doing the right thing, read. Show mercy and compassion. Show mercy and compassion. Everyone to his brother. Everyone to his brother. Do uh -huh. not oppress the widow or the fatherless. Uh huh. The alien or poor. Let none of you plan evil in his heart against his brother. Okay, now drop down to uh, 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 number 11. 11. Mm -hmm. But they refused to heed. He said, number one, just like those in life, just like now, they refused to heed. They shrugged their shoulders. They. Oh no! Wait a minute. Have you ever, have you ever talked to anybody in the church? And oh no 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 brother. I mean, we got nerve. God said they shut. You know, snap around. Don't 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 talk to me about no Jesus. Don't tell me what God said. If you've been a preacher, you you've experienced that. Somebody said, uh, Brother Gray, tell me something. But I don't want to know what the Bible said. I said, Well, I can't. Say, I don't know nothing either. <laughs> they stopped their ears. <laughs> they stopped their ears so that they could not hear. Well, they won't, they could not hear. Read. They made their hearts like flint. They did what? Made their hearts like flint. Uh-huh. You know what that is? Read. A, a hard rock. That's a hard rock, what, like diamond. Yeah. Refusing to hear Holy. the lock. You know, just think how hard that is. All you women love diamond, and you go cut glass with it if you can. Go, hey, man, when you give her a ring, she's going to check it out. She's going to cut that down with some... Glad. See, that's how hard diamond, that's the hardest, uh, one of the hardest metal. And God is saying, our heart, when we don't hear God's voice, God said, our heart is that hard. Read. Refusing to hear the law and the words. You refuse to hear the law and the words. Which the Lord of hosts Which the Lord of hosts sent in his spirit. By his spirit. By the Through what? the former prophets. By the former prophet. Thus great Death. wrath uh -huh. come from the Lord of hosts. Uh -huh. Therefore it happened. It has happened. That just as he proclaimed. Uh -huh. And they would not hear. And they would so not they, hear. They called out and I would not listen. God. Says God. the Lord of hosts. They would not hear the voice of God. And God wouldn't listen. And God, it come a time, you can cry and whine all you want Lord, to. Lord. 
I think Jacob had a brother cried and whine. You know, <laughs> God won't hear you. Oh, yeah. Listen what the Bible, he says, not only that, the Bible tells us in John 12 and 34, he said, but he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not him. Christ, think about the greatest miracle he did. He hung on the cross and he died for us and you and for me. And he went in and he got up. Nobody got up like he did. Not only that, everything was folded in me, wasn't it? And he got up and rolled up and got his house together. What did God, he showed you that I died on the cross and I'm sitting on the right hand of the Father. What more miracle do you need that you can't follow Jesus? And the first thing we got to understand, thank you, we got to exhort one another. We got to warn each other. That means that we got to exhort and include the comfort and the kind comfort of one another, too many of us always want to ride somebody, but we don't want to comfort nobody. But we want everybody to comfort us. But God said we got to learn to exhort uh, one another and comfort one another. And I look in Jude, the Bible tell me, Jude, uh, how much time I got? I, I don't want to run over time. He's, he said, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord have saved the people of the land of Egypt and afterward destroyed them that believe not. And I think about Moses. You know, we always talk about Moses. But I remember in Numbers uh, uh, around uh, the 20th chapter of Numbers, uh, uh, there was a man, yes sir, there was a, um, a God, the people, uh, God had brought them uh, for 40 years in the wilderness and, and God, they was just like so many Mira had just died, you know, and, and so the people were thirsty and, and they wanted some water, you know. You know the old story, don't you? And I'm going to show you how sensitive God is about somebody doing things they, uh, they way. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> boy, this is hard. But anyway, people doing things they way. Moses who had brought the children out of Israel, Moses, who had departed with God with the Red Sea, had left all them people as big as Dallas and many people. But what happened? God, uh, people were crying, and, and Moses went to the right place. He went to God and, and prayed to God about what he ought to be doing. And God said, go and speak to the rock and, and give them water. And God, but anyway, Moses went a little bit further than God. He didn't see nothing wrong with it. He said, can't do we need to? He said, we. Me and Aaron, we need to fetch, fetch you water. He forgot about God already, didn't he? He was getting the water, him and Aaron, and he smoked the rocks two times. Oh, yeah, they got the water. They, they watered their beast, and they got the water. But God called him in order. Because just for one little thing, Moses had been running around for 40 years with God. But he, God said, you're unbelief. Think about that. Just one little thing. He smoked the rock when God told him to speak. God said, you have not sanctified me. Yes, sir. Preach it. Too many people want to sanctify the pastor. Too many people want to sanctify the big beautiful building. Too many people want to sanctify their Mercedes being. Well, today, I come to tell you, church, you need to understand this. Ephesians 5, 15 and 16 says, Seeing that you walk circumspect, not a fool, but a wise, and you got to learn that you got to redeem the time because today, oh yeah, the day is near. You know, is evil. God is letting you know that there's a lot of evil out there, and you better be ready. Just like he protect Israel, he will protect you that belong to him. And the Bible tell me in James 4 and 14, the Bible said, whatsoever you know, not what be on tomorrow. For what your life is but a vapor. You won't be here long. And God let us know that, that we are going to go. But God tell us in the hardness and by the seeking of sin and sin look good and taste good and feel good. You know, I had somebody, I was talking to somebody the other day. He was at one of the other churches over there, and, 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 and one of my members in the hospital, and I, and I went to him, and I said, and he, he brought a communion. I said, well, I can't let her have a denomination of communion. <laughs> I gotta, you got to come from the Christ. 
But the point is, he don't see nothing wrong with it. And that's what the Bible is saying here. Listen to what he said. He said, happy is the man that fear always. But he that hardens heart shall fall into mischief. God is saying that you are going to fall into mischief. So we understand. But exalt one another daily while it's day, lest you be hardened through deceitful of sin. Matthew tells us, and you shall be hated of men for my name's sake. My wife sitting back there, she can tell you. I said, well, I said, I'm used to it. They hate me. As long as I'm teaching what Jesus said, they can hate me all they want to. Just don't walk besides Clay Williams. I ain't crazy. The Bible told me walk self-respecting out of the food. But anyway, <laughs> but people hate you. They hate because you are sound doctor. They hate because you want to go by the word of God. I remember years ago when I was a young man teaching denomination to other people. They said, you know what your problem is? Y'all problem is the Church of Christ. They don't know us now, though. Y'all want to go by every little word. Yes, ma'am. I just grinned. Yasem. <laughs> we want to go by every little word. God has promised us faith. And listen to what he said. And the Bible says that we need to understand that for the wedge of sin and death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We know that. But don't fall into this. If you do come out at Romans 8 and 6, for to be carnal minded is the death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. That's what we want. We hear God's voice. Don't be carnal minded. If you're not a member of the church, remember this. You remember Moses smoked a rock. You remember you rise, put on a hand on the and on the on the altar and, and on the on and on the altar, and they died. And he died. Remember that the Levite was the only one supposed to carry the ark. We, the Church of Christ, is the only one to carry. The word of God. Just like the Levites. We carry the word of God. Believe Jesus Christ. Come when you hear the word of God. Faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word. You must believe that he is. A reward of them that generally seek it. You must confess that Jesus Christ. Jesus said if you confess me before me. I will confess you before my father. And the one we hate that so much. Is repentance. You know repentance is merely a feeling sorry about our sin but not so is feeling godly sorry about our sin we got to repent he said except you repent you all lack wise prayer yeah. and then if you're not a member of the Lord's church you can hear God's word you can believe it you confess all that and, and repent that bring you unto you just unto the door you got to put him on in baptism you got to be baptized into Christ and put him on you go out there it's raining outside and you go out there with your coat in your hand, telling me I ain't gonna get wet. You still gonna get wet. But you come in this building, you can stay dry. If you're here this evening, and you're not a member of our church, you got to hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized while we stand together and sing the song of invitation. Five, seven, 